Alright, I'm back for part 2 of episode 12 of part 4 of Tips and Tricks of It's Airsoft Time. Um, this one's going to be a quick little review here. Uh, besides the KWA Sport line I heard about, Echo One will be coming out with their own MPL called the GAT. Um, that's actually a gun I've been looking at and I thought it was very damn good. It's going to be a primary, I heard. So... This gun is going to be the first compact CQB, probably with a very good FPS level, uh, primary, so I think you guys should start saving up for it. It looked pretty damn good. And I also heard they're going to be making, like, this new pistol to basically replace some of their, like, their first pistols. I don't know if Echo One has ever made so many, but they look, like, yellow and everything. I don't, they look like something out of a ballistic dummy or something. But either way, looks pretty damn good. Um, besides that, what I'm hesitating for is probably one of my favorites that I've been hearing that Echo One is going to be making is a chrome, like a silver colored M249 or M240, I couldn't tell. But... I was looking at that, it looked pretty nice, I don't know about FPS level wise, but who knows. Then Ares is going to be releasing soon, hopefully by the summer they said, I have no clue they are, don't blame me if they don't, it's going to be a stoner LMG, it's going to be the first LMG to be very lightweight, um, it's going to have, instead of a tube system connecting to the side of this gun like an M249 or M60, it's going to connect straight up like an AEG mag. Um, that one's going to be weighing in at about only around 10 pounds when fully loaded on the mag and with battery inside. And it's going to have a uh, spring-loaded barrel to clean it easier. For those people that like LMGs, I'm not completely sure because I'm not a person that likes LMGs usually. But when I saw this stoner, I was impressed by Ares, because that's something you don't see every day. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, GNG's going to be making a new M4, or something like that. It looks similar to one, I couldn't tell. That it's going to have some pretty nice attachments already built into the gun. You should check that out from their website. Uh, I believe... Magpul is going to be coming out with a couple new guns. I didn't really pay attention to them because I'm not a big fan of Magpul because they worry more about their equipment than they do with the guns because most of the guns on the outside is made of polymer or ABS plastic, like their Masadas. And quite honestly, I don't like the Masada. It looks damn ugly. But it's a pretty good gun. I'm not going to say it's a badly built I just don't like the body design of it. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I hope I see you guys keep subscribing to me, send me friend requests, send me messages, comments, anything. It helps me out to know that if I should do my videos better, or I should start bringing special guests like my friend John J. Rambo one day or something like that. You remember John J. Rambo, the one that got me a headshot. Uh, but I hope I see you guys around soon at 8th Street at Rinker. See you around.